Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you are in the world. Dr. Lakeisha McKnight is here with you on today. Welcome to video number 18, a part of this 30 days of consecutive network marketing, laser training and inspiration. And I'm excited to be here with each and every one of you tuning in tonight. Let's talk about what our theme, what our topic is going to be. And it's gonna be none other than how to overcome low self-esteem or low self-confidence and build a strong foundation of belief. Once again, we're gonna talk about how to overcome low self-confidence and build a strong foundation of belief. So again, welcome everyone, network marketing moms, network marketing parents overall, Glad to have each and every one of you here tuning into the stream on tonight on this Wednesday, July the 26th of 2023. It's about 6.35 p.m. as I'm here in Chesapeake, Virginia within the USA. So as you all are coming in, as you're coming in, let me know in the comment section, go ahead and type in your city, your state, your country, and definitely share the stream out, okay? Share the stream out. But first, let's go ahead and make sure that this is public. I wanna ensure that more people are able to plug in. For those of you on YouTube, definitely hit the bell, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos that are made available to you and actually will be available to you every single day until August the 9th. We're doing this 30 days of consecutive network marketing, laser training and inspiration just for you all out there who are either relatively new to the profession of network marketing, or maybe you have a, a, just a bit of experience, or perhaps you've been in the industry for quite some time. Uh, it, some of this content may serve as a refresher for you, but I do welcome you here to this video on today. So a couple of things I'm going to encourage you to do. Give the video a thumbs up or show the, show the stream some love. If you've been enjoying these videos, this content that I've been sharing with you on social media, and also don't forget to share the stream out or tag your business partners in the comment section below for those of you on Facebook, because we want to help educate the masses. We want to encourage, we want to inspire those who are needing the inspiration as they're seeking to build their network marketing businesses. And so again, a welcome to the stream once again. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. I know many of you may catch this as a replay. And so all is well. I'm also going to see if I can tag just a few folk. I know sometimes that can be helpful. Facebook and the algorithms can be a bit different, <laughs> right? Do, and they do things differently. They change things up quite often. So I want to make sure more and more of you are able to catch the content as it's being shared through social media. So let me go ahead and make just a few adjustments for those of you on Facebook. So you'll be able to catch the content here. And then we're going to be on our merry way. So just tagging a couple of individuals right now. Okay. And so once again, if you have not done so, go ahead and type in your city, your state, your country uh, in the comment section. And as we move forward, whether live or the replay, I will definitely acknowledge those of you who are here with me on this evening. So once again, the topic how to overcome low self-esteem and build a strong foundation of belief. Now, if this is your first time tuning into this video or any of my streams, listen, just to introduce myself, I'm a mom of two beautiful children and I homeschool full-time. I run a global business from the comfort of my home or wherever I am in the world using my cell phone and or my laptop. I love meeting people. I'm a wife of a army veteran, Keith McKnight, that's right, over 17 years of marriage. And so we're still going strong and still doing what we need to do to help, to help people like yourself to get on the pathway to freedom and to become successful in network marketing. And so I'm glad to be here amongst you all. Now, here's the thing, you know, when I first started in this network marketing profession, I was a newbie, didn't know what I was doing. And I did receive a bit of training, but let me tell you something, if you're not fully equipped, if you're not informed by leaders in this space about what to expect, you're going to be in, you're going to kind of run into a wall, 
Now, what I mean by this, let me explain what I mean by running to a wall, is you're going to face some uh, battles in terms of your belief, your ability to believe in yourself. And so, and that's what I actually faced when I first got started in this space, almost 20 years ago, I got started in the space. And because I wasn't given the foundation of what to expect internally, mentally, how to prepare my mind and how to prepare my emotions for what I was going to face, it really, it really dealt a, a low blow to me in terms of my belief at the very beginning, my belief in myself, my belief in the industry, which caused me to step back. And I, I came back for, I came back strong because I had great leadership. I had great mentorship, like, you know, from my late mentor, Dr. Ty Best and Mrs. Valerie Best, that mentorship was superb. And it really kind of like revitalized my belief in the industry and in the space because I was under their mentorship. And so they've transitioned on to be with the father in heaven, but you know, their nuggets, their, their mentorship remains strong within my heart. And I will never forget uh, what they have taught me. And of course they have great content through their books as well that I'm able to review and many others are able to review. So with that being said, let's talk about it. I wanna share with you how I was able to overcome what I was battling with the low self-confidence, the low self-esteem, trying to do what I need to do as a network marketing professional and trying to achieve my goals, but then I was wavering, not believing in myself. How did I overcome that? How was I able to overcome that low self-confidence? Here's the first point. You want to engage in self-reflection and awareness. Someone put that in the comment section below. Self-reflection and awareness. Reflect on who you are, right? Who you are as an individual, separate from the profession, separate. Because here's the thing, when people make comments or they give you an answer, say, for example, you, you're sharing and exposing your opportunity to someone, a prospect, and they say something like, oh, I don't want to get involved with that opportunity. It's a scam. I don't, I don't believe that it's legit. No, no, no. Or they ghost you right? You share the opportunity and you go back to them and they don't say anything else to you, right? See, you have to understand their decision should be separate from who you are as an individual. People are going to do things. They may not come out directly and give you an answer or they may make a comment, but you have to be strong in who you are. When you come into the space, be strong in who you are, you know, know who you are as an individual, as a professional. And that's why it's so important, like my mentor said, to work on your personal development, your self-growth, because if you're not working on that every single day, you're going to be dealt a lot of low blows and you're going to be beat up quite a bit, okay? So you want to make sure that you have a strong, you're in a strong mindset, strong headspace as you're going into your daily activities to build your business. So engage in some book reading, engage in some motivational audio or motivational videos. Make sure you're in a great headspace when it comes to it. Know who you are. Engage in self-affirmations on a daily basis, sometimes several times a day. Like I'll say some things like, I, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am a master at creating relationships. I am a great mentor to those who accept mentorship. I make sure that I include that last part because it's real easy, okay? It can become real easy for you to be a mentor, but you gotta be a mentor to those who are willing to be mentored. That's a whole nother stream right there. That's a whole nother stream because everybody is not coachable. Everybody is not coachable. They'll say they are, but does their actions reflect that they're ready for mentorship? Are they committed to the process? They have to be committed to the process. Most people are not committed to the process. So there you go. Self-awareness, okay? Self-reflection and awareness. That's the first point when it comes to overcoming low self-confidence. The second point that I wanna mention about overcoming low self-confidence and building a strong foundation of belief is you want to set achievable goals and celebrate successes. Here we go. You ready for it? Set achievable goals and celebrate successes. That right there 
will hit. It, hit, it should hit differently with you all because set, setting achievable goals is important. Some people set these outlandish goals. They want to go from zero to $50,000 in a month, every single month. That's what they want their monthly income. Can we, can we get you to go from zero to $10,000 a month first? Like I'm not trying to put a cap on your, on your income, but let's, let's make sure we can get you con like just around about consistent income around 10, 15,000 a month. And then we're going to get you to 50,000, right? <laughs> let's, let's make sure we set achievable goals, not outlandish uh, goals that are not realistic. And when you're setting these goals, here's another important point. You do want to celebrate the successes. Celebrate your successes along the way. Even if you've done the smallest of things, you got like five sales today. Come on with it, yes. That is one step forward towards getting that $10,000 a month. Say for example, you brought on board two partners, two people as partners who wanna build the business in your company. Yes. Do you know that bringing in new partners is important to you reaching that goal of $10,000 a month? Absolutely. If you all are in agreement, show me some love with the stream. Man, give this video for those of me on YouTube a thumbs up. And also for those on Facebook, show us some love with some hearts. If you are in agreement with what I just said, setting achievable, achievable goals is important. And also celebrating your steps forward. Celebrate the smallest of success moments, success activities that you've engaged in. So that's what I've done. That, that's the second point there. Now, the third and final point when it comes to overcoming um, low self-confidence and building a, a strong foundation of belief is you want to practice and embrace a growth mindset. You got to do it. Practice and embrace a growth mindset. Some of you, okay, here is, what's the best way to say it? You put trash in your brain, you put trash in your spirit and trash comes out. I know there's no easy way to say it. You have to be mindful of what you're putting in your eye gates and your ear gates. Be mindful of it. How are you going to grow something if you don't sow something that gives life to it. Growth requires an, an element, some essential elements that's going to bring forth life into it. What are you sowing into your mind? What are you sowing into your heart that would enable it to grow? What are you putting in? Some of you are not putting anything in on a daily basis. And that's what I've done. I read books. Right? I read books. I watch motivational content. I do these things as often as possible so I can strengthen this. Okay. Again, going back to my late mentors, they said, you know, reading is important, even if it's at least 10 to 15 minutes a day of a great book, of a book pertaining to your space. If it's health and wellness, a book related to that. If it's uh, business and, and wealth building or income generation, a book related to that. But you want to practice and embrace a growth mindset. Okay, you don't want to be stuck. You don't want to be like a, you don't want to stunt your growth. Okay, so just be mindful of what you're putting into your brain and into your heart on a daily basis. I know I do that often. I do it as often as possible. So let's go back and review what we just shared tonight in terms of overcoming your low self-esteem or low self-confidence and embracing a foundation of belief. We said, number one, self-reflection and awareness. Number two, we said set achievable goals and celebrate successes. And we said, number three, practice and embrace a growth mindset. Growth mindset, all right? So listen, has this helped any of you as you've been tuning in? Has, I mean, the suggestions, the, the personal uh, examples that I've shared, has this helped you? Let me know in the comment section uh, of this particular video. I would like to know because more great content is coming. Like I said, this is video number 18. We're looking forward to video number 19 coming up. I'm excited. I'm excited about what's been going on. We've been having people just, and, and just, man, encouraged I've been getting some testimonials back. 
people saying that they've been watching the videos and it gave them life to really go after their dreams with their business. That's the type of inbox of messages that I'm getting through Facebook. And so I'm so excited to see, you know, what's going to come of it, you know, as you take this information and as you apply it into your daily routine or your life or your business so that you'll be able to see results come forth. And so I'm going to end it like this by sharing, if you want more encouragement, ladies, women, mothers, there is a group I'm inviting you to be a part of. It's called the Network Marketing Women of Influence Group. And so you're more than welcome to meet me and other elite women there at the group. Now, here's how you get it. This is how you can get involved in the group. You want to go to networkmarketingwoi.com. Once again, it's networkmarketingwoi.com. Let me go ahead and type it in the comment section. Join the Network Marketing Women's Group. Thank you, Priya. I do see you in there. I see Katrina Eccles is tuning in as well. Good evening, ladies. Thank you for being a part of the stream live tonight. Glad to have you a part. All right. And for those of you ladies, if you're looking to really get yourself more organized when it comes to building your business, some of you um, have grabbed it already, but there is a DMO or a daily method of operation checklist that will be great for helping you all to be organized with your daily routine, your daily activities, so that you'll be able to see some progress. You'll be able to move forward with getting things accomplished successfully on a daily basis. So I'm gonna type in how you can get this free resource. It's the DMO checklist, and I'm gonna put it in the comment section as well. Grab the free resource. Okay, here we go. And for those of you on YouTube, once again, it's going to be in the comments in the description area of the video. So with that being said, don't forget to like or love the video. Leave some comments below. Tag your partners, your customers even inside of the description or I should say the comment section of the video. And I'm looking forward to coming back tomorrow, everybody. So until then, as I always end the videos, you already know, I'm encouraging you to think, to speak, and to live leadership. Good night, everybody, and God bless.